this system is behaving very much like a cancer, uh, a carcinogenic circuitry at the social level of life organization. You know, I'm saying this isn't a metaphor. This isn't, a, this isn't imagery. Um, the image is good, but it's, it's much deeper than that. So it isn't uh, as if we're, I'm having an organic metaphor that some people might understand it. Well, I'm seeing society as an organism. No, I'm seeing it as a social, a social life organization. That means it isn't determined by, um, it isn't determined by genetic circuits. It's determined by ultimately value systems and social value systems, not individual value systems. They're usually derivative from the social value system. Exactly. And then if you have at the social level of life organization, if you have a reproduction circuit that's growing and it's growing exponentially, once you see exponential growth, you see carcinogenic possibility. There's something gone wrong. And if you see that that growth, and of course what it is, is you know in place of what we call the cancer sequence and what it always does, is reproduce its own itself, really the not-self of the body. It reproduces cancer cells which are deformed and uh, don't have any committed function to the life host. And that's the real key. <clears throat> There's no committed function to the life host. Now these money sequences, these private money sequences, seek only like a cancer. They seek only to multiply themselves without inhibition. And they have no committed function to the life hopes. Well, of course, that ends up in disaster. and that, That's what happens at the bodily level and that's what happens at the social level. We have not been able to impose any committed function to life host uh, requirements of life. Uh, for example, say with the climate destabilization that we we reduce our carbon, you know, it, it does, you know, they'll just turn it into another money sequencing to turn into more money without uh, without inhibition. And the key is not only that it doesn't have any uh, committed function of the life host; <clears throat> it isn't recognized by the surrounding community. Now, in the in the body level, the surrounding cell community, you know, it's cells, and uh, they recognize. I mean, uh, it's really quite a remarkable thing the way we all have cancer going on in our bodies all the time. There are cancers there, but the social immune system is able to recognize the uh, the cancer, uh, and that's the big problem. Is not only that you have a cancer growing and multiplying. Uh, without committed function, but you also have no recognition at the surrounding life level of what has gone wrong. These cancer cells, which is just money sequencing becoming more private money without limit until it dominates everything, um, there's no recognition of it. And of course, what's happened there is that the corporate mass media are in fact part of the cancer. And of course, Wall Street is at the very center of the propagation of the cancer. And they are not going to allow any recognition. They, you know, it's inconceivable to them. They're behaving like a cancer, but it's inconceivable to them that they could possibly recognize this. And so it isn't recognized by the surrounding social immune system. Now, our social immune system at the social level of life organization isn't, I mean, I could go into the mechanics that go on at the bodily level. It's really quite amazing, you know. The, what happens is that you have macrophage cells that recognize that there's something right wrong, and they, so to speak, and they rip, the, they tear the genetic marker off the, uh, the cell, the uh, rogue cell, and they display it to the surrounding cell community and then there's a response a biochemical response that uh, triggers into action uh, precisely the antibody precisely the uh, the action of the body to get rid of that of those cells and right. uh, those are called T cells from the thymus the thymus gland one could go through and through it oh it's just really quite miraculous how this happens sure, but the sure. key when it happens is that you recognize that it is a cancer and I've had cancer myself and that was the real the, the most difficult thing was getting the body to recognize the growth and come after it and but that hasn't happened so it then just continues to attack all our life means support systems to put, reproduce itself at the higher and higher levels of uh, multiplication 
and it appropriates ever more of the life host nutrients for its own growth and then it unlimitedly multiplies its own non-productive demands of growth and that's what they're always saying we must have growth we must have growth it's just the cancer meta program has entered into the very command posts of the of the uh, the social system and so then you have the needs and goods, therefore, of the life hosts are displaced at every level, whether your food is going, you know, has carcinogenic components or you're not managing uh, any level of the climate reproduction system or whatever. Uh, it just, what it does is repeat the money sequence reproduction and multiplication every time it faces a problem. Then it metastasizes across the life host, across borders, and that's really what these free so-called free trade, basically, it's the free movement of private money sequences to control everything across the planet and across borders. And so it eventually exhausts by the deprivation and the dysfunction that exhausts the life host. And that's the stage we're in now.